So guys, once again welcome back to Ahoy Navigos. Today we are in front of you with a new concept that's longitudinal stability. So let's see in detail what is longitudinal stability. When a ship is at rest in calm water and even keel, the center of buoyancy and center of gravity will be in a vertical line as illustrated below. You can see in the diagram, ship in even keel raft, the COB and COG will be in a same vertical line. So this can be altered by two phenomena. This even keel condition can be altered by two phenomena, namely pitch and trim. So let's see in detail what is this pitch and what is trim. Pitch is nothing but the longitudinal inclination of ship about its pivot due to external factors like waves. Can be current waves or something that can alter your ship's longitudinal stability. Next thing is the trim. Trim is the longitudinal inclination of ship about its pivot due to internal factors like shifting of weights, loading, discharging. Important point in this is this is due to internal factors like shifting of weights, loading or discharging. So the pitch and trim are both longitudinal inclination but only difference is that the pitch is due to some external factors and trim is due to internal factors. So this point about which a ship pivots, we will be saying that ship pivots by a point. This point about which the ship pivots is called as center of flotation. So now look at this ship. We can say this is our draft aft and in forward we have draft forward and these both drafts will be equal because ship is at even keel. Now let us discuss our next concept that is what is trim that's very important for us. So let's see what is trim. Trim is the difference of forward and aft drafts expressed in meters also can be expressed in centimeters. So when your aft draft is greater than your forward draft that's aft is dipping more ship is said to be trimmed by stern. Also when your forward draft is greater than your aft draft your bow is dipping more so it's said that ship is trimmed by head and in some scenario where your forward draft is equal to your after draft that means your ship is at even keel as we seen in our last slide so next thing how can be this trim affected this trim can be affected by three main operations on board as we said the trim is altered or formed due to internal factors those are loading discharging and also shifting. So let's see the effect of loading and discharging on trim. Here in this case we have initially shift on even keel and we are loading a weight forward of COF and when the weight is loaded as you can see the ship starts to dip by forward that means your forward draft is increased and your aft draft is reduced. In this case we have an initially even keel vessel and we are loading a weight W on aft of COF. As you can see when the weight is loaded on aft of COF your aft draft is increased and forward draft is decreased. Here we have a case where the ship is dipped by head and we are discharging using shore crane a weight forward. Your vessel went to even keel that the draft changed. Here we have a scenario of discharging of weight from your aft ship was initially trimmed by half weight was taken by our direct the ship went to even keel so now we already saw how this loading and discharging is affecting your trim and now for our understanding we will consider a scenario where we are considering shifting of weight and the effect of this shifting on trim and how we calculate total trim cost now let's see a video on the movement of your weight from forward to aft and what happens to our drafts forward and aft and how trim is coast. Now in the case of shifting we have initially even keel vessel we have a weight forward and when this weight forward was shifted towards aft a trim by stern is coast and this causes the aft draft to increase and forward draft to decrease. When we shift this weight from forward to aft, our COG, that's the initial COG, also shifts towards the weight. As we know or discussed earlier, 
whenever there is a shift in weights the COG also moves towards the weight so COG moved this way and the new COG acting downwards and initial COB acting upwards and separated by a distance GG dash creates an anti-clockwise couple in this case because we are shifting from forward to aft similarly if we were shifting from aft to forward your G will move towards forward and you will be having another couple that's clockwise so in this case we will be having a anti-clockwise because the ship is supposed to trim by stern when the weight is shifted aft this couple will make the vessel trim by stern so let's see now due to this due to trimming by stern what happened you can see in the diagram underwater volume is increased towards stern when the weight is shifted the vessel started to dip by stern so the underwater volume towards stern is increased as compared to forward so due to the underwater volume shift this cob initial will also shift towards our more volume that means you know cob is the center of buoyancy will be the center of our underwater volume so whenever the underwater volume is shifted towards stern your cob will also shift towards stern that will be until this cob comes below exactly our new cog so that's the point until which your cob will be shifting that means the new cog and cob will be in a vertical line so a vertical line through our cob and cog on even keel initial cob and cog the vertical line through that will intersect the cob and cog vertical line after inclination this point of intersection is called as longitudinal metacenter also called as kml so as we discussed in transverse stability this transverse metacenter is very concerned because it should be always kept positive for your stable equilibrium but in this case you can see in the diagram how high your longitudinal metacenter is so due to that it's not much concern for us but for further calculations in your trim cost and all you will be using this camel so we need to know where should we find this longitudinal metacenter this longitudinal metacenter is a function of draft that means it is depending on your draft when the draft changes your camel change and this is given in your hydrostatic table let's see our hydrostatic table so your hydrostatic particulars that's given in salt water 1.025 you can see for the particular drafts KML that's longitudinal metacenter is also given so you can see the length of our hinge ship was as you know 143.16 and you can see the KML how high it is that's why I said this is not much concerned about the stability of the ship but this is used in our future calculations for various other things so now you can see in the diagram we need to consider this triangle g g dash m this is for our calculation of total trim cost when a weight is shifted loaded or discharged so let's see from triangle g g dash m we can say this is angle theta so our tan theta will be opposite by adjacent in this case opposite is g g dash so it is g g dash divided by adjacent is g m that's g m longitude so we got our equation let's name this equation as equation number one and next we have other thing we need one more thing for our solution so let's consider this as draft forward and a line parallel to ship's bottom from forward to aft this will also be draft forward and the difference of forward draft with aft draft that is called as our trim as we discussed below so this is our trim so now you can see we have formed one more triangle over here from your forward draft to your aft draft and the trim and you can see this distance the distance from your aft perpendicular to your forward perpendicular is nothing but your length between perpendiculars that means this length or the adjacent or the base side of this triangle is lbp so we can write the equation as tan theta this is theta is equal to opposite by adjacent that is trim 
divided by length between perpendiculars. So name it as equation number two. So we have now two equations, both for tan theta, we can equate this both equations. Then it will be trim by LBP is equal to GG dash divided by GM longitude. And we know GG dash as we discussed, GG dash is the difference or the movement of G due to the shift load over weight. That will be WD divided by capital W that is the weight of shifted weight and the distance shifted and the total displacement. So we can substitute this value in our equation. So our trim will be equal to WD into when we bring this LBP towards it that will be multiply WD into LBP divided by W into GML. This is whole displacement final displacement of the ship into GML. And now this is in meters. So as we said we need to convert trim total trim cost into centimeters we need to divide it by 100 so our trim in centimeters will be wd into 100 lbp divided by w into gml this same equation we can write it as also wd divided by just top it up w into gml divided by 100 lbp so we can write this equation also like wd divided by w into gml divided by 100 lbp if you see in this equation, this portion W into GML divided by 100 LBP is nothing but your MCTC in centimeters. We calculate MCTC in centimeters as we discussed in our previous chapters. Equation for that is W into GML divided by 100 LBP. So we substitute this value as MCTC. So our trim cost in centimeters is equal to WD divided by MCTC in centimeters. So as we know any weight into distance is called as moment in this case it is trimming moment so our equation will be trimming moment divided by mctc so this is our final equation for calculating the total trim cost in centimeters an important note one need to consider is mctc for various traps is given in hydrostatic table for salt water and need to be converted for all other densities as we can see in our hydrostatic particulars for each draft we have mctc is given and this mctc is for our salt water if it, if it is required to convert it into any other densities you need to divide it by salt water density and multiply it by any of density required for you now let's see another last important concept that's our center of flotation as we discussed or said before it is a point about which a ship trims, also called as tipping center. So there will be a point about which your ship will be trimming forward or aft. That particular point is called as center of flotation. This can also be defined as center of flotation is the center of water plane area of our ship. That means this center of flotation will be changing according to your drafts also. So it is indicated either from midships, forward or aft as HF can be said as your center of flotation is 2 meters forward of midship or 3 meters aft of midship that can be also a method to indicate your center of flotation's position. Also it can be indicated from aft perpendicular that's AF. So now if, if COF is midships change of draft forward and aft due to loading discharging or shifting would be equal that means if trim caused by loading at aft is 40 centimeters then stern would sink by 20 centimeters and bow would rise by 20 centimeters that is equally that means trim caused towards something that area will trim by half of that total trim cost and the other side will rise by half of the total trim cost so the can be scenarios where the COF is not midships. So in that case, how to find what is the change of draft in forward and aft? And we know that would never be equal. That will be unequal. So we can calculate our change of draft aft as AF divided by LBP into total trim cost. That is the equation to calculate change of draft aft when your COF is not midship and your 
change of draft forward will be total trim cost minus trim half. For example, if trim cost by is turn 40 centimeters, total trim cost is 40 centimeters and the trim cost is by stern. That means your stern will be dipping and bow will be rising. And your AF is given as 63 and LBP is 140. From this example, you can say the COF is not midship because if the COF is midship, it should be half of our LBP. That's 140 divided by 2. That's 70. But in this case, AF is 63. That means your COF is not midship. That means you will be having change of draft each end unequal. So we need to calculate what is TA. TA will be 63 divided by 140 that's your AF divided by LBP into total trim cost that is 40 centimeters and the answer is 18 centimeters and similarly the trim forward will be TC minus TA that is 40 minus 18 that's equal to 22 centimeters. So since trim cost by was by stern so we can say stern will dip by 18 centimeters that is aft draft is increasing and your bow will rise by 22 centimeters that's your forward draft is decreasing. So guys, this is all about our basics of longitudinal stability. Stay tuned to Ahoy Navigos. We will be discussing more about solution for our type A problems of longitudinal stability. Thank you.